G'day guys, what's up? Just here in this beautiful little spot, I love this spot right here. I'm able to dry my blanket, which I just washed down in the rock pool here. And I can put my bags under this little cave. And yeah, dry my shoes in the sun. You know, the, the UV kills 99% of bacteria. So I just put all my stuff out. But check this out. This is just such a beautiful rock pool here. We're right on the end of the rocks. There's only one more partition. And I am going to mukbang some seaweed straight off the rock. And also, I want to show you guys the dry salt. The dry salts which are all around here, just little pools of drying salt water. See, I'm able to wash this here. Whoop. I just washed it down there, right at the end. So I just had moving water rushing through it and I, I had a liquid detergent. Here you go, look at this. Here's a big one. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh. The rocks are quite sharp, some of them, but others have, you know, a bit of flat surface on it. Yeah, look at this. I love getting this. So you have these little rock pools where the salt, you know, dries. Look at all that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful salt. Wow, it's strong. You wouldn't believe how strong that salt is. That is, it's sweet as well, by the way. In case anybody, anybody was wondering who knows about mineralization. Man, that was awesome. Wow, that's powerful. You know, like McDonald's chips. Sometimes McDonald's chips have really powerful seasoning. I, I remember I used to get a few bunches back in the day that were really powerful. That, that's the flavor I just had then. But really, really super powerful. Okay. Yeah, so it just goes up to here pretty much. You could soak your feet in there. Let's go for a walk first. Ah, here we go. Some nice seaweed. This stuff's just beautiful. It's got the power of wakami, this stuff. Wakami has a lot of uh, iodine in it as well. It's just growing everywhere. Yeah, I can just take a mouthful and munch on it. It's awesome. So, so nice and abundant out here. Look, it's everywhere. I think we can also even get onto this big rock out there at low tide now because we can cross this little bridge over here. 
that's why I put my stuff there as well, in sight, and there's also a seat there. So until the water reaches above the, the brown seaweed, you can actually sit over there on a comfortable seat. So I'm actually going to be there for the next few hours. Thank God, because I'm healing from pneumonia. So this is just the perfect diet. It's going to really strengthen my immune system and um, environment which is also going to strengthen my immune system by cleaning me so that my immune system is not just in disarray at 10 million different bacteria and viruses let's go this way it's a bit easier because I've got the camera um, I've got to get out of the splash zone hold on yeah, um, God, your legs become stiff after you haven't surfed for five years. My legs are way stiffer than I'd like them to be. <laughs> I even stumbled them. That's crazy. Oh, look at this rock A couple of years out of the surf, my legs are, like, only used to walking. Wow. Look at this, trickle waterfall rock pools. Could even sit in there like a hot tub in the middle of summer that would get really hot from the sun you can see that the waves are not really reaching up in there unless the big ones come at low tide and there's a gap in the rocks over there just over there and you can like you could technically jump in between it it'd be a good place to come with a friend and a friend can film you like jumping on the rocks and stuff. I jumped the gap from, from that rock over to there and climbed up over there <laughs> as well. Oh look, a seal! Ah, that's what I saw before. Look, you see him? Little seal! This plate is called Punta Bajana, which means Punta Whale. Little seal. Hello. Yeah. He looks to be just sunning over there. I think he just laid down and is sunbathing. He too is enjoying the warmer temperatures. We're just coming out of winter. Oh, he's off again. I wonder if he's okay. He looks pretty small. He's just chilling around. Yeah, he looks like he's snuggling up. <laughs> Having a little rest. Looks like he's molting it, I think, maybe. Can you guys see in there? I don't know if you can see past the glare. Maybe that's better. I can't see through the camera right now. Such a nice rock pool. So much of that seaweed. You know, I just scoffed a mouthful. I could go another one. And I do not feel anything but better for it, in case anyone's wondering what about all the diseases, man. This is so, this point, look how far away from the beach we are. It's a really long point, so it's kind of sticking into the middle of the ocean here. And the whales come past and wave. Man, the whale's light body must be so huge because they literally wave at us on the rocks from like out there. You know, 100 meters away or whatever. 
and you can see they come up and they just do one wave specifically for you and then they bail off again you know I think I've got gang stalkers over here anyway lots of fishermen over there too but people over there anyway look at this rock pool I already sat here one time because there's not much movement you see so you don't get that cold shock up into your pants <laughs> and at high tide it comes over there and, and by about half a meter so you can get dragged over and out through that so you really want to stay away from it unless it's low tide like now just look at this just completely serene and perfect Looks to be about two meters deep there. I couldn't see that the other time. But just down there, looks like two meters and then it goes up to like one meter. Oh, this rock's nice. It's really nice and smooth. Sun baking rock. Oh, oh and out of the wind a bit, nice. Oh, God, yeah. So this is Punta Bajana, and it is bloody nice. It's the nicest uh, point that I've been to in Uruguay, uh, and I expect it will be the best one. Because the region that we're in, it's, you know, a, a, a half an hour, hour north of uh, at Periopolis, so it's a mountainous sort of area, and then this long point like this. And it's because it's this long point, really. It's so pure out here. I'm not sure if you can eat the brown seaweed. Let's give it a go. Actually, it might just be old. Old of the same variety. Look, because it's in there. Oops. It's in there amongst the... Can you see how it's in amongst the green? I can't see much of what you guys can see, so I'm just going to scan. Yeah, you should be able to see it there. There's so much glare on my screen, I can't see <laughs> even what I'm looking at, what you guys are looking at. Oh, someone with a paddle board as well. Someone out there with a paddle board. You don't see that too often here in Uruguay. People do have them, but there's less surfing, less paddle boarding and so on than, say, in Australia. Man, it, it, I don't like Uruguay because of the weather, um, because basically, I think someone's pissing up there, because basically um, the winter is really long and you get a few good months and everything closes for the winter as well. As Uruguay progresses, it will become like different, but it's because there's a really long winter here with a, a super cold wind from the Patagonian uh, ice fields. So you get like dry ice in the wind, like even now the wind is still cold and it's the end of winter. It's the first day of spring or something now. First or second day of spring. September like 23rd or something. And yeah, it's finally warm enough for me to sit here. It's only about 15 degrees today. So I'm slightly chilly, and to swim will be cold, but like refreshing, not freezing. It'll be cold though. But look, what a perfect time to go while it's like still and, and nice. The water heats up more like that too. See, it's like within the rock pool right now at all three exits. It's flowing in from this one. So that'll change a lot in a couple of hours. It'll be like this high. Oh, such a good break. I was just in the, the space that I was sleeping with pneumonia for like 48 hours or 72 hours, I'm not even sure. Uh, 24 have to be like 48 plus 
12 probably wouldn't it uh, so I'm still brain scattered a bit and drained and I walked as well but I'm pretty much better I've pretty much healed the pneumonia my god was it bad I couldn't move like I literally couldn't get up and walk or do anything and I'd stumble to piss I'd stumble to like wake I'd groan and moan to sit up in the position I am now <laughs> So all I was doing was laying there and moving from side to side, moaning <laughs> and, and hating it. So much pain. Um, but yeah, in, in the, the way I do it is I did nothing. I let the body figure out what was going on the first 24 hours or that first night. I couldn't do nothing. I didn't move. I didn't eat. The next day I ate like a tiny little bit. I still need donations at this point when I'm making this video um, but yeah I, was, I knew I could come here and eat this seaweed for now I don't know if I want to be eating it every day because there's like I, I am intaking some salt water and you don't want to take intake too much salt water because there's a lot of stuff a lot of little animals in the water and stuff so you do get sick if you drink too much like intake too much salt water even though I'm a surfer so I could do it every couple of hours and just not a, a lot at once and you can get delirious and more dehydrated but because I'm a surfer I can kind of take uh, quite a lot of salt water I think before my stomach gets upset or anything so I could sit here and eat this seaweed I think for a while actually I'm going to eat some more oh well let's let's eat some of the dried stuff see how it's like semi dried Just plucking off the top, shaking it out, give it a shake. Oh look, see? That little guy fell out. What is that? Oh, it's like a sea lice or something. He's flinging around. Truth is you could eat that anyway, it's like a little prawn really anyway. So if a couple of them are in there, I don't think it's going to be too bad. <laughs> I'd rather a fish, but oh, yeah. Man, the seaweed's not bad. Some flavour, i tell ya. But it's naturally salted. This salt is fucking fantastic. Well, it's pretty good. Actually, I still taste the tint of silt, tiny bit, from the Uruguayan lands. But it is pretty much, pretty much perfect salt. Ooh, look, the shells. See here, it's only half a meter deep to a meter. There's like a hole over there. Okay, I've got to save battery, guys. Wanted to show you that. That's right. 